So, uh, hello, John. Good morning to you. What brings you here? Hello, Doc. Uh, my dad uh, uh, fell down yesterday and uh, he had a number of bruises on the body. And my sister uh, gave him uh, Panadine Fort, uh, the painkiller which she's using regularly. And my dad is uh, greatly relieved. But then she had just uh, two tablets uh, in hand. So I need your prescription or uh, I need uh, your uh, uh, direction for the pharmacy to dispense uh, Panadine for, uh, for my dad. Oh, no, John, I cannot do that because, uh, see, you cannot, uh, uh, without examining the patient, making sure of... Uh, condition of the patient. You cannot prescribe anything. It's against uh, medical ethics. What the hell do you mean, doc? You know, don't you have any sensitivity or sympathy for the patient? My dad has uh, excruciating pain and uh, you are saying you will not prescribe. So don't you have any sympathy for the patient? It's not that, John. See, I'll tell you briefly but uh, completely what the scenario is. Your dad has uh, atrial fibrillation. What that means is, his heartbeat is not regular. He is into a medication called warfarin, which is actually an anticoagulant, prevents uh, formation of clots, which in turn leads to thrombosis and embolism. What that means is, uh, it leads to clot formation and circulation of the clot uh, through the blood vessels. Now this can sometimes be uh, life-threatening also. If the embolism is in a vessel which is supplying to a vital organ. Uh, now John, the issue is the contraindication or uh, the negative effect when two medicines are used together. Warfarin when used along with uh, Panadine uh, leads to hemorrhage or bleeding which can even be life-threatening. So I'm not prescribing anything for your dad without examining him because it's against medical ethics. Not only that, it will put your dad's uh, health and life at risk. Oh, Doc, I do appreciate that. But then yesterday, uh, he had taken two Panadine tablets. Will that be trouble for my dad? That part I have to check. It could be trouble. Uh, but uh, I'll do one thing. I will uh, come home, check him up, and make sure uh, how he is doing, and uh, and then uh, prescribe what is required. So let's hope and pray that uh, the two Panadine taps that is already taken uh, does not cause uh, much harm for him. We can only hope and pray for that. Thank you, Doc. Please do come home.